Hello, 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 hello. How is everyone doing today? Hello, teacher. Hi, Rita. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, Mario. Hi, teacher. Hi, Ceci. Hi, Nestor. Good evening, everybody. Excellent. Awesome, guys. So it is Tuesday today. And thank you very much for being on time. Let's see. We have Nestor, Rita, Amilcar, Mario, Ceci, and Christian. Excellent. All right. Vamos a esperar just a few minutes more for the rest of the group to join or as many of them as they can. No sé si hay alguien que esté teniendo um, issues con su internet o con su um, electricity, but estaré pendiente to no, notice any of that. So let's see, let's check. We are recording the class. Recuerden, guys, que todas las clases quedan grabadas en YouTube. Yo las subo el mismo día, so that you guys can review it if you need it para hacer any of the knowledge checks or any exercise or, or if you need to review a certain topic. Um, well, all of the classes are in the YouTube playlist. Okay, Pablo just joined, Marlon just joined, and William just joined as well. Excellent. Okay, we are 10 people now. I have a lot of energy because I went to the gym and no me ha pasado el brush. So that's good. So that we have a very interesting class. Now, let's see. Wait with one minute, demos unos minutitos más so that the rest of the group can join. And guys, we are going to be finishing section five today. We have the last two topics today. And as promised, bueno, primero vamos a terminar el exercise que comenzamos ayer about the... Um, about sentences with can, can't, and questions with can. Uh, and after we are done with that, vamos a cubrir the last two topics that we have. O tal vez no los alcancemos a cubrir, pero we're going to finish tomorrow. And tomorrow and on Thursday, nos vamos a dedicar exclusively on solving doubts and on finishing the platform, guys. Remember, um, una visito. Uh, si no han aún mandado sus documentos para inscribir el siguiente módulo, por favor, por favor, por favor, comuníquense uh, con las personas de soporte técnico. Les voy a mandar en un mensajito en WhatsApp después de la clase um, un mensaje que tenga todos los números de contacto con de las personas de soporte y de coordinación. So that, um, si no han mandado aún sus documentos, please, 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 contáctenlos el día de hoy or, uh, o mañana, a más tardar, um, para que les puedan hacer una inscripción extraordinaria, right? Because, um, pero para que esa inscripción pueda tomar lugar, uh, you guys need to have finished the platform by Thursday. Tenemos que tener terminada la plataforma para el día jueves a la medianoche. So it is very, very important that we work on the platform en estos días. And that is why he dejado miércoles, jueves, Wednesday and Thursday to solve any doubts about any exercises or any topics that we need to clarify so that you guys can be all ready to move on to the next module next week. Um, in order to do that, 
we need to have finished the platform, right? So, eso es muy importante, guys, que ahorita ya hayamos al menos comenzado la section five a trabajar. And we are, we are going to try to finish the topics today, okay? Is eight with zero four minutes. Vamos a escribir aquí en WhatsApp what's going on. Una pregunta, teacher. Yes, let me eh, know. Para que ya, ya se puede mandar la documentación para el siguiente módulo. Uh, ya se debería de haber tenido que mandar. Se tendría que haber mandado la semana pasada. Por eso, si en cualquier caso, si no lo han hecho aún, por favor comuníquense el día de hoy porque ya es un periodo extraordinario, porque ya comienza el día 23 el siguiente módulo. Yo como no había recibido ninguna notificación en el sentido de que ya pues, hay que mandar la notificación, no había mandado. Entiendo que sí se había enviado la notificación. ¿Alguien más sí recibió la notificación? Teacher. Yeah. Yo la recibí el día de ahora por correo, pero okay. tenemos hasta el día de mañana para poder, poderlo ah, confirmar. Vale, perfecto. Uh -huh. Para poder enviar okay. todo, por favor. Okay, ya, gracias, sí. teacher. Of course. En periodo extraordinario. Sí, entiendo que se, como es, eso lo envía, no lo hago yo, sino que lo envían de parte de coordinación. Um, y también cada uno debemos estar pendientes de nuestros modules, right? Es nuestra responsabilidad. All right. So okay, gracias, we, teacher. of course, uh, we are 12 people right now. And we are going to go ahead and begin with the class. Solo voy a poner aquí un mensajito de que we are in class already. Hello. Estamos en clase. All right. Ahí escuché que ya le cayó a alguien, so that's great. Excellent. Okay. So guys, we are going to go ahead and open the whiteboard. Can you see the whiteboard? Yes. Awesome. Excellent. Okay. So, uh, ¿quién no pasó el día de ayer? Let's see. Do you guys remember el exercise que estábamos haciendo ayer con can, can't, and can in questions? Okay. Mm, to say I can write, I can uh, is it, uh, make a, a pizza or do a pizza. Mm -hmm. I can write a bike. In, uh, in, uh, I can't, can't, I can't drive a plane, I can't play the, the drums, uh, I can't play soccer. Uh, can I sing? Can I play guitar? Can I go to the gym? I'm sorry, can I what? Can I have the questions one more time? Uh, Can I go to the gym? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, um, can I see? Mm -hmm. eh, 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 sing. Oh, uh, sing. Okay. Let me see. Um, can I play the guitar? Okay. Excellent. America. Those are all correct. I can drive. I can make a pizza, I can ride a bike, I can't ride a plane, I can't play the drums, I can't fly a plane. Okay, so for a plane, lo único es que vamos a decir I can't fly a plane. Okay. Yeah, I can't fly a plane. I can't play soccer. And can I go to the gym? Can I sing? And can I play the guitar? 
Excellent, Amir, Amilcar. Excellent work. Very well. All right. Vamos a ponerlo right here. And let's go with the next one. Let's see. Um, ¿quién, más no, eh, ¿Quién más no pasó ayer? Yo, teacher. All right. Let's go, Nestor. Um, I can see. Mm -hmm. I can do play the soccer. Soccer. I can play guitar. I can't be sad. Uh, I can get up early. I can uh, get up too late. You can or you can't? You can. Can no. or can't? No. Can't. Mm -hmm. Can. Thank you. And the questions? Um, can I go to the cinema? Can I go to the party? Can I have some use? Excellent, Nestor. Thank you very much. All right. So, solo vamos a hacer uh, two notes on this. All right. So, can I do play? I can do play the soccer or I can play soccer. Como lo diríamos? I can play soccer. That's correct. I can play soccer. Let's see. Puedo jugar fútbol. I can play soccer. And then, this is correct. Esto está correcto. Solo quería hacer la aclaración que um, very rarely vamos a escuchar que la gente le diga cinema. Uh, siempre, casi siempre vamos a escuchar que le van a decir, can I go to the movies? Al cine, right? Can I go to the movies? O al teatro, pues a ver un play, right? El teatro, el theater, pues es el teatro. So, can I go to the cinema or can I go to the movies? Es más común escucharlo. Uh, but excellent, Nestor. Very good job. Thank you very much for sharing. Thanks. All right. Very well. ¿Quién más no pasó ayer? Yo, teacher. Excellent. All right. Go ahead. I can play basketball. Mm -hmm. I can swim. I can run. I'm sorry, what? I can run. Oh, run. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I can't driving. Driving or drive? No, drive, drive. I can't sing. I can't cook. Excellent. Uh, can I go to the shark? To the what? I'm sorry. Shark. Iglesia. Oh, oh church. See. Sí. Thank you. Can I play soccer? Can I play the piano? Thank you very much. That is excellent. All of those are correct. Todas están correctas. Excellent. Amazing. Thank you, teacher. I can play basketball. I can swim. I can run. I can't drive. I can't sing. And I can't cook. And for the questions, can I go to the church? Can I play soccer? Can I play the piano? Excellent. Those are all correct. Amazing job. Excellent job. I'm so proud. Excellent. All right. ¿Quién más no pasó ayer? Uh, 
who wants to share their sentences? Nope. Excellent. Go ahead. Yes. 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 Let's go, William. Okay. Um, I can't buy a new house right now. Can't? I can't buy a new house. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't play golf. Yes. I can travel to USA. Uh, I can play soccer. Yes. I can dance. Awesome. I can ride a motorcycle. Excellent. La pregunta sería, can she cook? Amazing. Can you paint? Can you go to the gas station? Excellent, William. I love, 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 love that you used a different pronoun. So that is amazing that you use different pronouns. Excellent, William. Excellent examples. And let's review. I can't buy a new house right now. That's correct. I can't play golf and I can't travel to the US or to the USA. I can't play soccer. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, I can. I yeah. can dance. Yes? Excuse me. Uh, I don't understand the last sentence. What's meaning? Can, can you go to the gas station? I don't know. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my, my friend. Can you go? Oh, okay. Can you go to the gas station? Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, I'm sorry. William said it right. A mí me faltó poner el go. Um, I can play soccer. I can dance. Yeah, I can ride a motorcycle. Now, can she cook? Can you paint? Can you go to the gas station? Excellent. Those are all correct and perfect. Really good sentences, William. I'm so proud. All right. Now. ¿Quién más no pasó ayer? One, one more person. All right, let's go, Ceci. Oh, okay, okay. Excellent. ¿Quién no pasó ayer? Who wants to share their sentences? Joe. All right, let's go. Okay. I can drive. I can uh, swim. I can swimming or I can swim? I can swim. That's correct. I can work. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can drive. I can eat. I can cook. Okay. Okay. Uh, a question. Um, can I um, um, play video game? Can I play basketball? Can I sing? Excellent, Pablo. Excellent. Those are all great examples. Aquí tenemos eh, in positive and in negative, right? I can drive and I mm. can't drive. That's the same sentence, pero comprendemos que one's positive and one's negative. And I can swim. I can work, I can't eat, I can't cook. And can I play video games? Can I play basketball? Can I sing? Excellent, Paolo. Thank you very much for sharing. Thank you, teacher. Of course. All right, guys. So 
before we move on, do we have any questions about how to use can, can't, and can for questions? Or is it clear? Is it clear, one? Is it clear a two? And yes. is it clear a three? Awesome. Okay, let's move on then. Yes. Awesome. Excellent. I love that. Very well. In that case, allow me to share my screen. And we are going to very briefly watch this video, guys. This is a video that's on the platform. So you should be able to review it as many times as you need. For pronunciation purposes, la vamos a ver este video, and then we are also going to be reading it. Después les voy a estar solicitando que lo leamos, but for pronunciation purposes, pongamos atención para escuchar cómo vamos a pronunciar las cosas cuando yo les pida para que practiquemos. All right, so I am going to go ahead and share my screen right now for you. Share computer sound and this one. Excellent. We are going to watch this very quickly. It is just one minute and 30 seconds, so a minute and a half. So let's go ahead, guys, and watch this very quickly. And then we are going to do a little exercise based on this, okay? So let's go ahead and watch this. Get started by listening to some common abilities and talents. Word power. Musical or artistic. Paint pictures. Play the violin. Sing English songs. Technical or mechanical. Design a web page. Fix a car. Fix a motorcycle. Athletic. Do gymnastics. Ride a horse. Surf. Other. Bake a cake. Play chess. Tell good jokes. Now I would like for you to do a couple of things. First, categorize these activities using the categories musical or artistic, athletic, other, technical or mechanical. Uh, just like you see on the example, other, bake a cake. Then I would like for you to use the vocabulary and relate it to yourself, a family member, or a friend. For example, I can fix a car, but I can't fix a motorcycle. After you finish this activity, Share your work in our discussion forums. All right, guys. So this is not the exercise that we are going to be doing, pero quería que escucháramos so that we know about the pronunciation of some abilities and talents, guys. So we know abilities and talents, right? Habilidades y talentos. So in this ex uh, in this example we see that uh, the platform has categorized, uh, categorizado, four different types of abilities and talents in musical or artistic abilities, athletic abilities, technical or mechanical abilities, and other types of abilities. For example, they match bake a cake with other types of abilities, porque no es artistic, no es athletic, y no es technical, right? Even though yo diría que es technical porque baking is such, uh, so, so much work, but whatever. So, for example, let's see. So, any musical or artistic ability, by en esta categoría también tenemos athletic abilities, que son abilities related to sports, related to physical strength, a fuerza física, physical strength. 
And we have technical or mechanical abilities. Me habilidades mecánicas o técnicas. Conocimiento de cosas técnicas or that you are able to actually fix things. And other abilities. Otras habilidades que no entran en esa categoría. So, for example, uh, let's see if I asked um, Marlene. Marlene, what type of ability is it to design a web page? It's technical or mechanical. <laughs> Excellent. That's correct, Marlon. Uh, if I can design a web page, then that's a technical or mechanical ability, right? It's a technical ability. Tengo que tener el conocimiento técnico to be able to do it. I have to have the uh, technical knowledge. All right. And if I ask, let's see, Marco. Hi, Marco. If I ask about uh, doing gymnastics, what type of ability would that be? Um, no, teacher, no understand. Oh, okay. No understand the question. Uh, si yo pregunto sobre gymnastics, what type of ability sería? ¿Qué tipo de habilidad sería? Would it be a musical and athletic? a technical or other ability? A athletic. That's correct, Marco. Excellent. If I can do gymnastics, I have an athletic ability. Porque I need to have physical strength and the physical ability, the athletic ability to do gymnastics. That's correct. Okay. okay. Now, let's see, Briselda. Now, Briselda, if I can fix a car, what type of ability is that? Um, <clears throat> y tenemos que responder como en la oración, ¿verdad? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you just have to tell Solo me. Solo responde que normal. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. No, I can't fix a card. No, no, no. What type of ability is it? Is it a musical, an athletic ability, or a technical, uh, or a mechanical? Perdón. Is a, a technical or mechanical? Mechanical, sería? Yeah, that's correct, Griselda. Thank you very much. Yes, if I can fix a car, then that's a mechanical ability. Now, if I asked, let's see, Rita. Rita, if I asked you about painting pictures or painting uh, something, what type of ability is that? Um, art? Yeah, that's correct. It's an artistic ability. If I can paint, that's an artistic ability. That's correct. And now let's say... Let's see, Amilcar, if I can play chess, what type of ability is that? Could you repeat again, please? Of course. Uh, if I can play chess, what type of ability is it? Mm, uh, no. <laughs> um, this is a sport. Technical uh, uh, ability sport. You could say it's a technical, technical, because you have to know about it. Um, and it can also be in other abilities, right? It can be in other abilities or it can go to technical abilities. Porque la gente que juega chess, they have to know a lot of technical things, aunque parezca que no, but they do know a lot of things. Hence why mm -hmm. it's a sport. You can say that there is a knowledge, ability, ability. Knowledge? Yeah, yeah, it's a technical yeah. or a knowledge ability. Yeah. Okay. Now let's see if I asked. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Marlon, Pizzella, Marco, Veronica. Veronica, if I asked Veronica about 
playing the violin, what would that be? Hello. All right, that's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, hi, Veronica. Um, if I asked about playing the violin, what type of ability would that be? Uh, is it uh, piano? Musical or, arti or artistic, that's correct. All right, and let's see. If I asked about riding a horse or ride a horse, what type of ability would that be, Ceci? Teacher, one question. Yes, uh, if I was talking about riding a horse, ride a horse, and uh, subir a un caballo, montar un caballo, what type of ability is that? Is that a musical? Is it athletic? Is it technical? Athletic. That's correct. It's, it's an athletic ability. Riding a horse, it's an athletic ability. Okay. All right. And let's see, Christian. If I said uh, sing English songs, what type of ability would that be? Uh, musical or artistic. That's correct. Musical or artistic. Because you are singing, right? And then let's see, Pablo. If I asked about surfing, what type of ability is that? Um, athletic. Yeah, that's correct. It's a sport, so it's an athletic ability. All right. Let's see. The last one, William, if I said tell good jokes, what type of ability is that? Um, no entiendo mucho esa, esa, al menos tell good jokes, ¿qué significa? Para... Oh, okay, yeah, tell jokes son chistes, so tell good jokes, decir buenos chistes. Ah, okay. Um, artistic ability? Yeah, it can be artistic or it can go into the other category, right? But it can be artistic. It is sometimes an art to be a good comedian. Thank you, William. All right. So in this way, we can categorize abilities and talents. And you can say what you can do and what you can't do which is what we did in the previous exercise. Por eso no vamos a hacer esto, este exercise, porque ya lo hicimos, right? With what we did yesterday. But uh, with this, we can understand about how abilities work and how you can talk about your abilities. For example, yo puedo decir, I can speak English. Oh, muy importante, guys. Please, nunca vayamos a decir I can talk English. Vamos a poner otro color porque no se ve. Nunca vayamos a decir I can talk English. Siempre debemos decir I can speak English. Why? Because speaking is la habilidad de comunicarse. O sea, I am speaking English. I am speaking Spanish. We use that to so that we have the knowledge of a language, y talking es que yo estoy hablando con alguien más. Pero you are not talking English, you're speaking English. Es, es solo es la manera en la que lo decimos. Siempre digamos, I can speak English. Okay. Y che, y violín, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Violin, oh, ¿cómo? that's correct. Violet. Violin. Like you say, violin, violin. Violin, violin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who's talking in chat? Teacher, escucho cortado por si no le contesto. That's okay, Pablo. Thank you for letting me know. All right. So yeah, 
violin, violin. Violin. That's correct. Violin. We also have other instruments, right? Apart from the violin, we have the drums, la batería. We have the guitar. We have the bass or the bass. Este es el bajo, right? We also have, let's see, well, we have the violin, we have the cello, we have the piano, um, we have the banjo. Yeah. Which one? Yeah, the drums se traduce también como barriles, ¿verdad? Uh, yeah, you could say that. It's not very common to hear that, but you could say that, yeah. Casi siempre los barriles vamos a escuchar que se... We're talking about barriles, right? Like the, like the tin ones, los como los de... Los metálicos, right? Okay. Or which ones? O cuáles? Los plásticos. ¿Como los de basura? Eh, sí, es que lo hice en un documento como expresado de esa forma, de drums, drums. Yeah, you can hear that. No es tan común escucharlo, but yeah. And then let's see, we have more instruments, right? We also have, let's see what else. We have the, um, the flute, la flauta. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? We have the R. Teacher, y bass, bass, ¿qué significa? Bass, the, es el bajo. Bass, bass. Yeah. Ah, okay. Ese es el bajo. It's like a guitar, right? Es parecido a la guitarra. Now mm. we also have, um, we you have say, many uh, other types. Yeah. Arpa es la, la última que puesto, ¿verdad? Yeah, Arpa. that's correct. Sí, Excellent. All right, guys. And that was just a brief, a very brief um, parenthesis in this topic. And what we're going to go ahead and do now is we are going to read this, um, this information about sports. And in a way that we can all participate. Let's see, we have one. Uy. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And we are 14 people, menos yo, 13. All right, so taking into account that someone doesn't answer, then we are cabales. All right, so we are going to read one paragraph each. Vamos a leer un paragraph cada uno. Cada pa, uh, paragraph es cada una de estas cositas, right? I saw the okay. point. So these few things. So can I please have, vamos a ir en orden. Can I please have, uh, before we do that, hay alguna no, 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 we're going to be correcting. Lo vamos a ir corrigiendo en el camino. Um, all right. So the topic for this is race the U.S. Read about four unique American races. Excellent. Can I please have Ceci start with this okay. paragraph? This one. Clean. The style of New York City, Empire State, in the Empire State Building Room Up. All right, so guys, let's hear about pronunciation. Uh -huh. Let's remember la e in English, I. So that is I. climb. 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 
Nice. That's correct. Excellent. Climb the stairs <laughs> of New York City's. Notemos aquí, right here. We have apostrophe. Apostrophe S. And that means it belongs to the New York cities. It belongs to the New York City. Le pertenece a la ciudad de Nueva York. So climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run up. Excellent. Empire. Remember, porque es I, letter I, Empire. 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 Y el Empire State Building, pues es el edificio icónico, right, de Estados Unidos, de Nueva York, right? El más alto, el Empire State. So, build, climb the stairs. Building, teacher, building. 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 Yeah. Building. Digamos que la U se, se elimina, building, así. Yeah, building. No para todas las palabras, right? But for this specific one, sí. Okay. okay. And let's see. All right. Now, can I please have uh, uh, Christian read the next paragraph, this one? Okay. Este, the client is uh, 1050, se puede decir, Tinge 50. Oh, for quantities, no. Para cantidades, no. Solo no. para años. ¿Cómo Solo se, para años. No, no, ¿Cómo se diría oh, 1050? Yeah. Aquí lo vamos a poner. It is 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. One thousand fifty, eh, three hundred twenty, como se dice, three hundred, three hundred, three hundred, eh, twenty, twenty, metros. that's correct, and mm -hmm. six floors, or eh, one thousand fifty seven six. 1,000, 1,575 steps. steps. Okay. Excellent. 1,000, recordemos, 1,000, 100 para ciento, y 75, like, like that's the number. Eh, for quantities, guys. Ok, ¿cuándo podemos usar como para hacer más chiquito el número? Podemos decir, en vez de decir 12,000, podemos decir, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. En vez de decir $1,200, podemos decir 1,200. Y tenemos que tener bien en cuenta los ceros, right? So, si me están diciendo... 1,200, entonces yo sé 1,200, 1,200. Y si me dicen 1,200, yo sé que 1,200 no existe porque yo no puedo decir 12,100, no puedo decir 12,100, no puedo mm -hmm. decir 15,100, sino que tengo que tener en cuenta. Entonces si me dicen 1,200, entonces yo sé que me están diciendo 1200, o sea, me están diciendo 12 con dos ceros, porque los dos ceros se refieren al 100, right? So 1200. Mm. Si no les dan mucho las cosas de los números, no les recomiendo que hagan eso. But para que sepan, si alguien les dice 1200, 1200, nunca vayan a poner 12 y 100 y, y tres ceros, porque eso lo van a hacer 12,000. Y si están hablando de números o de dinero, le pueden quedar mal a alguien. So, um, yeah. Uh, pero esto lo de 1200, 1500, uh, 200, les pueden decir, and that's $2,000, solo con números enteros, right? No, nunca les van a decir, por ejemplo, en este que es 1050, no les van a decir 1050, no, no lo van a escuchar solo cuando son cantidades más grandes que las quieren hacer chiquitas. But yeah, 1000, 1000, 100, 
All right. Let's continue. Can I please have William continue with this one? Winner, winner can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Excellent, William. Winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Excellent. Okay. Now, can I please have... Like you can get reach. Reach. Pueden alcanzar. Alcanzar. Reach. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's continue. Can I please have... This is Leo Sassi. Then this one was Christian. Okay, lo vamos a ir poniendo. This one was Sassi, and this one was... Christian, and this one was William. All right. Now, can I please have Marco read this one? Okay. Um, take eight or 10 days to race across America from Irving, California to Savannah, Savannah Georgia. Excellent, Marco. Thank you very much. Take eight or 10 days to race across America. Excellent pronunciation, Marco, por cierto. Excellent. Okay, okay. Thanks. Eight or 10 days to race across America from Irvine, California to Savannah, Georgia. Excellent. Con esto no les, no les, no okay. les digo mucho because ya son uh, ciudades y estados, right? De Estados Unidos, que vamos a andar sabiendo cómo se dicen. Um, Yo descubro ciudades todos los días en el trabajo, so, yeah. Irvine, California, and Savannah, Georgia. Excellent. All right. Now, can I please have Briselda read this one? Have the entire U.S. in this to... 1,900 miles, 4,667 kilometer bicycle race. Excellent, yay! Just off in the quantities, amazing. Excellent, Brisella, thank you very much. Excellent pronunciation. Now, can I please have Rita read the next one, which is this one. In, in this race, there are no time out for a sleep. For eight to 10 days, racer can sleep only about three hours each day. Excellent, Rita, thank you very much. In this race, there are no timeouts for sleep. For eight, 10 days, racers can sleep only about three hours each day. Imagínense solo dormir three hours each day for 10 days. Oh my God. All right, can I please have, okay, this was Marco, this was Griselda, and this was Rita, okay. Can I have Amilka read this one? Grace on the fiery white water of the Arkansas rivers and the Down River Bridge. Excellent, Amilka. Thank you very much. Excellent. Race on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the Down River Race. Very well. And now, may I please have Marlon read this one? Um, winners complete the 25.7 miles, 41.5 kilometers in just two hours. Excellent, Marlon. Thank you very much. Winners complete the 25.7 miles 
or 41.5 kilometers in just two hours. Wow, that's amazing. Very important, guys. Sabemos cuando vamos a decir dot y cuando vamos a decir point. Dot es para páginas de internet. That's correct. And point para quantities and texts. Solo dot es solo para cosas web. So, for example, um, dot com, www dot inglés corporativo, <laughs> um, etc. Y point para todo lo demás. Uh, finish your sentence, point. Or period. Bueno, realmente period es lo que se ocupa cuando estamos hablando de textos. Or point para quantities. 25.7 miles. All right. Can I please have Sergio read this one? That's okay. This is the longest down river race in the use one person one boat take the challenge thank you very much sergio amazing this is the longest down river race in the u.s one person one boat take the challenge i see now can i please have nestor read this one Uh, only possible in Alaska, the... Iditarod. In Iditarod. Yeah. Sled. Como? Sled. Sled. Yeah. Sled. Yeah. Okay. Down right. Thank you, oh. Nestor. Only no. possible in Alaska. The literate sled dog race. Dog race. Right. Thank you very much, Nestor. Now, literate es el nombre de esta race. Es sled porque así se le llama. Sled a esa actividad. Cuando van las carreras así en trineos de, 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 de la nieve. So that's a sled. So sled dog race. Excellent. Uh, let's see, can I have Mario read this one? Okay, teacher. Race from downtown, Anchora to Nam over. One, one, 1,115 miles, 1,815 kilometers kilometers town called with and snow thank you yes. very much Mark. Uh, Anch Anchor uh, Anchor Anchorage yeah. is a uh, is a town in Alaska es el nombre de un pueblo en Alaska uh, thank you Anchorage yeah and Nome es el otro nombre del pueblo so the race begins in Anchorage y termina en Nome all right, and a race from downtown Anchorage to Nome, over 1,150 miles. Recordemos, 50, 50, 15, 15. 50 miles or 1,850 kilometers uh, through cold, wind, and snow. All right, and finally, can I have Pablo read this one? Hello. Okay. That's okay. No problem. Let's see. We can find it. I think we all did. So let's just finish the reading, guys. Winners usually finish the course in nine to 12 days 
can receive cash prices. They receive cash. They receive efectivo, cash. Guys, ¿hay alguna otra palabra que no conozcamos de este reading? Price, prices, price teacher. Prices, those are premios. Price. Premio en efectivo. No, any price. You can win a prize if you go to a festival. Si van a un festival, you can win a prize. Y el prize puede ser un peluche, dinero, um, clothes, whatever. Okay, gracias. Price, premio, price, precio. Okay. Teacher, inside, en el segundo párrafo donde yo leí. Uh -huh. ¿Qué significa? What? ¿Qué significa qué? Entire. Ah, entire. Ok, so, cross the entire US, US, United States, right? ¿Cómo sería? Entire, cross the United States. What do you think it is? ¿Alguien que me diga? No one. Como el recorrido. Yeah, okay, so entire, entero. So cross the entire United States. Cruza o cruce eh, por completo Estados Unidos in this 2,900 mile bicycle race. Como nos están hablando sobre carreras, right? So cross the entire United States in this cruce, uh, cruce por completo o cruce por entero los Estados Unidos en esta eh, carrera de bicicletas de 2,900 millas o de 4,667 kilómetros, right? Okay, thank you. Awesome. Any other questions, guys? Teacher, ahí después del párrafo donde leyó Briseida, Risers can sleep. Riser, ¿qué es? Oh, okay. So, if a race es una carrera, Race. racers, uh -huh. ¿quiénes serían? Races. Um, um, si race es la races. carrera, ¿quiénes serían los racers? Los corredores. Los corredores. That's los correct. That's okay. correct. Los participantes okay. de la carrera. Ellos son los racers. Race. If you are part of a race, si es, es parte de una race, de una carrera, then you are a racer, right? Racer. No lo vayamos okay. a decir nunca ni lo vayamos a confundir, por favor, jamás con racist, right? Muy diferente. Uh -huh. okay. Ahora, race, claro, eh, puede surgir la duda. ¿Y qué pasa con raza? De what's your race? Sí, se escribe igual, pero por eso tenemos que prestar atención al contexto. Si nos dicen what's your race, ya le podemos decir um, Latino, Hispanic, or whatever we are, right? Uh, indigenous, si, si tienen raíces indígenas, whatever. Um, Caucasian, depende de lo que sea. Pero si estamos aquí, como estamos hablando, in this race, there are no timeouts, ta, 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 sabemos que estamos hablando de sports. Very important. Pero se escribe igual, race de raza y race de carrera. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Any other questions, guys? Yes, I can. Yeah? Uh, yes, uh, what's meaning time out? Oh, time out. No hay pausas. No hay pausas. Yeah. yeah, no dan tiempo. Eh, in this race, there are no timeouts. No hay pausas para dormir. No hay tiempos libres para dormir. Um, for eight to ten days, racers can sleep only about three hours each day. O sea, no les dan tiempo ni de dormir. Tienen que um, echarse la carrera de son 2,900 millas a pie. So, se imaginan, de entre 8, algunas personas se tardan 8 días, otras personas se tardan 10, hasta 10 días. Y lo menos que se tarde, los que se duermen son los que se tardan 10 días. Ok. Awesome. Teacher. Yeah? 
No, the race here is in, in bicycle. Bicycle race. Ah, yeah, I'm sorry, in bicycle, yeah. yeah. ¿Cuál es la que está bien? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sí, aquí dice, uh, cross the entire area, bicycle race, yeah. Uh, bicicleta, guys, I'm sorry. Me confundí porque lo vi aquí. Este es el run-up. El de New York es el que es run-up. Es el que es a, a pie. Yes. Amazing. Thank you for saying that. Awesome. And do we have any other questions, guys? No. No. All no, right, sir. guys. No. <laughs> Excellent. In that case, tan -tararan, let me inform you that we are officially finished with section five. Hey. So for tomorrow, la tarea is as follows. Please, 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 please work on the platform as much as you can. Y a partir de mañana, nos vamos a dedicar a solve any questions that you may have, guys. Desde la section one, okay. hasta mañana, vamos a hacer desde mañana a review the final exam. No se los voy a resolver, pero I will help you. Para que para el día jueves, you guys are set and finished. And finished. Para que puedan estar oficialmente y completamente preparados e inscritos para su siguiente module. So, Congratulations, guys. You have finished the content of this module. Así que nos vamos a quedar solamente respondiendo any inquiries, doubts, questions that you may have. Y también si tienen preguntas más a profundidad, we can also talk about that. Eso es lo bueno de que hayamos terminado. So okay. congratulations to okay. you. And see you tomorrow, Thank guys. You. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, everybody.